So John, we've seen loads of people here in fancy dress and it's quite easy to impersonate some of the doctors with like a fez or a long scarf, but which doctor do you find the easiest to impersonate vocally? Well, the first one I did uh, on Dead Ringers, the first Doctor, was, was Tom Baker. And he was wonderful for the sketches we did on Dead Ringers because uh, you can just say the most bizarre things in the most uh, uh, ebullient fashion like that. That wonderful voice and those eyes and those hand gestures are really rather marvellous. Um, my Doctor, uh, the, the first that I remember and loved watching, uh, was John Pertwee. And uh, I think that's where my velvet jackets come from. That's where I get that influence. And uh, I used to love the way that John Pertwee would uh, reel off all the, the scientific language, such as uh, the classic, I've reversed the polarity of the neutron flow, so the TARDIS should be free of the force field now. And uh, so bombastic. You know, come on, man, you've got to risk it. And uh, I just love the attack in John Pertwee's voice and the way whenever the uh, aliens would appear, and he'd look like that sonic screwdriver, lightning fast reactions. And um, he was a very protective doctor. You just felt that he would look after you and take care of things and you'd be fine. So yes, he was my doctor. And do you have any tips for people who are trying to cosplay as Matt Smith? There'll be a lot of people doing that as well for the Christmas special. So how would you impersonate Matt Smith? What are his character traits? I think uh, don't hold back on the gesticulations. You know, the, it's almost like expressive dance, the way he darts around the TARDIS and lots of this. When he's thinking, he does that as if to sort of like, I don't know, tap the thoughts into his mind even more strongly. So uh, don't hold back on the movement, I think. A bit like expressive dance, like I say. John, thank you very much for talking to us. And for all you watching at home, here's a message from the future. Yes, yes, that's right. You should subscribe to the official Doctor Who YouTube channel. I've seen you do it in the future and you're very happy, so do it now. Excellent, sorted. That is like so totally brilliant, that. Yeah.